Hi everyone, I'm Ben Fankhauser, and today we're answering a key question about Agent Force, and that is how can you configure the Agent Force SDR template? Whether you're new to the platform or looking for a refresher, I'll walk you through the steps and process and show you how to make your AI agent actionable. So let's hop in. The first thing that you wanna do is define your objective. Think about what you want your SDR agent to accomplish, what you want it to do. For example, is it outreach tracking, performance monitoring, or scheduling a sales call? Having a clear goal ensures that your agent serves its purpose effectively. The second thing you wanna do is craft the topic. Structure your agent force SDR topic so that it is specific and actionable. Instead of using a generic title like lead management, try something like schedule a sales meeting. This approach makes the topic more focused and results driven. The third thing you wanna do is add context through instructions. Ask yourself, what are the steps that the SDR agent should follow? Clear instructions are the key to getting AI agents to perform exactly as you want. And step number four is assign an action. Once you assign an action, your AI agent can do something, can schedule a meeting, can plan something in advance. The fifth thing, and you should always, always do this, is test for good measure. Test the configuration. Okay, now that we have the framework, let's hop in to an example. So here we have our agent builder and we're gonna go into step one. So step one is defining the objective. I want my AI agent to schedule a sales meeting. So I have defined my objective. The objective should only take place if somebody has responded to an outreach email and that they are interested in our product. So step number two is create our topic. So I'm going to create a new topic and I'm gonna call this schedule a sales meeting. Now you're gonna to have to classify what this is, give it the scope and then give instructions. So this will be step three. So let's do the scope and I'm, or the description. And the description is when a client is interested in our services and wants to set up a meeting, you will schedule a meeting. Now we'll go to scope. I want my AI agent to schedule sales meetings for a lead owner by coordinating dates and times with the customer and the lead owner's calendar. Now instructions. I always want my AI agent to attempt to set the earliest meeting possible if somebody's interested, I want to be on a call or on a meeting with them the next day. Let's add the next instruction. Uh, I don't want the AI agent to entertain any other uh, conversations pertaining other than the ones pertaining to meetings. The next is I don't ever want to be double booked. So if the lead owner's calendar has something there, I don't want them to double book a meeting. And then the last one, let's say, if a user wants to schedule a meeting at a time that the lead owner is not available, give them a couple options and then schedule the meeting accordingly. So those are the actions. Now, those are the topics and instructions. Now let's create an action. Luckily, Salesforce already has a default action and it's called schedule meeting send a meeting request okay. and now i can finish now if you look at schedule a sales meeting here's the topic here are the instructions and the topics action is send a meeting request now i'm just going to test this for good measure i need a meeting and you can see it's scheduled a sales meeting. awesome now that it's set up you go ahead and do step five, which is test the configuration. 
So in the conversation preview, you can test to see if it is selecting the correct topic and if the action is associated with it. So I'm just gonna say, I liked your product. Product. Can we set up a meeting? And let's just make sure that, yep, it is selecting the correct topic. It's now asking, hey, do we have a preferred date and time for the meeting? And as you respond, you're gonna be able to see, does it take the, take the action or not? Now, this isn't a full configuration. So notice that I've only done one thing. You may need to add a couple other actions to this topic so that it can query a contact record and do other actions. But for the sake of this video, that is how you're going to edit or customize the SDR agent agent template. Now, if you liked what you saw and, and you need more help with Agent Force or you'd like to know more, please click on the link below and contact my company, Solved Cloud. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.